I love that you have plants all around your home and you actually have a view of these uh, greenery whenever you're sitting from inside of the home because it has a very open space planning and I can't wait to show you guys. This is a brand new and very modern home here in Quezon City and I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, so from the street, this is immediately what you will see and is it not just so beautiful? It's nice and geometric and modern, very clean looking, but still has a lot of character. Probably thanks to the fact that you see a lot of wood finishes from the main entrance that you can peep from the road to the ceiling of your carport as well as your automated gate. Now so that we can see inside, let's go through the main entrance. And I love how from here, you can either go to your carport or admire that little garden patch you have over the right side of your property. But before we go inside the main entrance, let me show you the carport. Super high ceiling, am I right? It's like double height, more or less. <laughs> but it's really high ceiling. You can fit two vehicles comfortably. You have some space over here for a bit of storage as well as some of your uh, controls, electronics for your tanks, etc. And then you have your side gate over here that will lead to the side of the house and to the back. So the gate on the right side is similar. It'll, it's gonna lead you to the same place, which is the back of the property. Okay, now it's super sunny so you can't see, but you do have lit steps leading up to your main entrance which is nice and wide and tall and all of the doors for this house will have this kind of hand, uh, hand I was gonna say handrail this kind of handle while still having its own doorknob or in this case a digital door lock which you can control or in this case an NFC here we go mm. It smells so good in here. Okay, so the moment you enter, you are going to see your main stairs, which will draw your attention because of how nice it looks. But before we go there, let's check out the entire ground floor. And you will be welcomed by your living and your dining. And again, you have really high ceiling. And something else that will draw your attention is the ceiling. Look at that. It is beautiful you've got lots of lovely texture while still looking nice and sleek it looks bright because you have so many windows and sliding glass oh, sorry correction and glass doors so you have a view of your perimeter which has lots of garden space lots of bamboo and that makes it look super zen in front over here in front of your uh, couch you have a view of your entertainment wall as well as the door that will lead to the guest powder room. So you have your toilet over here and your sink. Again, this is high ceiling. You still have the same kind of ceiling from the living area. So it just goes through visually. It looks super seamless. And then on the other side of your TV, you have another door. And this is what I was talking about earlier have these handles very nice and geometric but we still have a doorknob and here you have bedroom number one i love that it's on the ground floor you can turn into an office in this case it's a bedroom it can be your guest bedroom or a granny room it's up to you it has a lot of privacy thanks to the clever story windows up top and as you might have noticed yes it's still high ceiling then you have some windows over here your built-in uh, cabinet over here and then an en suite, toilet and bath with your sink, toilet, and enclosed shower space. And take note how the walls are this nice black marble. The audio didn't cut out, my voice did. I don't know why my voice has been doing that today. <laughs> you still have a window over here, but for privacy, you have a metal uh, screen and as well as uh, it's a thicker cut, uh, sorry. You have a metal screen over here so you can open it without letting insects in and also it kind of visually uh, stops people from <laughs> seeing clearly into the bathroom. 
Okay. Now back out here, obviously, this is your dining area with your lovely chandelier. This is gonna go over your dining table. And when you do decide to entertain your guests and family here, you can have these open at night, perhaps, so that you have an indoor-outdoor situation. You can also have some seating and some uh, table set up over here in your lanai, and that's gonna be nice for parties. And then when it comes to preparing the food for the party, you have here your beautiful kitchen. So you have an island counter here in the middle with your built-in sink, lots of storage space all around. Of course, your provision for your refrigerator. Actually, the refrigerator is here. Your built-ins, your, uh, your, your sink, your stove, your range, and then your built-in rice dispenser. I love that. Not every house has a built-in rice dispenser, and that's... Trivia, we love rice, like the whole team loves rice, so love it. So you also have here access to your backyard. And again, you have some garden space along the perimeter of your home. And then this is my favorite part of the back portion of your home. You actually have a laundry area. So you have your provision for both your washer and your dryer. It is elevated so you have one step up so even when it rains the water isn't going to get to your appliances and then over here you have your daily kitchen with your sink and your stove already built in the filters are also already built in so no need to install those it already comes with and then over here you have your staff quarters so this is their room and they have their own en suite toilet and bath and that is the window of that room then again, this one will lead you back out to the car port. So let's go back in. And you might notice that the windows are tinted. So this is going to help. <laughs> Sorry, that was just, uh, I had an ADHD moment there. Uh, that will help in reducing the heat coming in to the home. I was just checking. Kasi hindi naman kita some video at what I was doing but yeah I was checking the glass anyway so you can tell obviously that this is gonna go to the second floor but also let's close this door what's unique about this home is that it actually has a basement oh but before that make sure you hit like click subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos we're on Facebook so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Priscilla underscore official we love featuring homes like this, and this one is in. This one is. <laughs> this one is in an exclusive subdivision here in Quezon City. So if you want to see more listings from Quezon City, make sure to check out our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Okay, so so far you might have noticed that the entire house has been full of wood and white and gray, right? Well, when you reach the basement, <laughs> I stick out like a sore thumb, right? Everything is white. Well, actually off white. Now you could treat this as a storeroom or as a man cave, and it's up to you. This is literally a blank canvas for you to work on. It's limitless, okay? You can do whatever you want with this space. So the Ito na yun. This is what you have. You have lots of outlets already in place. Your panels are here. The AC is already here. And your imagination will help really build this space. Speaking of space, you do have some storage here under the stairs. But again, it's up to you. You could turn this into a nice little nook for your for your kids, like maybe a little library. Pwede kang maglagay ng built-in shelves gen for them to play in. Oh, that's gonna be so cozy. But yeah, this is a bonus space that you can work on. And sorry for the echo, since you know it, it's a blank area or it's a blank room. Puro echo. Unlike when I go up here, right? Because everything is wood, so much less echo. So at night, this is going to look spectacular because you do have LED strips under the steps over here, so it's going to be well lit. But the nice thing about it is, I, well, obviously you can't see it, but I think it's going to fall. There you go. 
kind of reminds me of Christmas lights, but in a good way. Like it, it softly fades in and out. That's pretty cool. It's the first time I've seen that in uh, lit stairs. Okay. So I just came from the ground floor. We're now going to head up the second floor. So technically it only has uh, ground floor, second floor, and then the basement. So three floors in total. Okay. Before we head to the rooms, the moment you head, uh, the moment you reach the top of the stairs, you will have access to this, the balcony. So this is a view of your neighborhood. Again, very exclusive neighborhood here in Kazan City. It's very quiet. You have lots of trees. It's perfect. Like it's all very nice and breezy. You feel like you have privacy again, thanks to the trees. You even have a view of a field. <laughs> at the back of your house. Okay, now this space, if you can tell, there's a gripo dito, some drains. It's up to you if you want to add more appliances here for your, uh, for your benefits since you can't really see this portion from the road. But this portion, you could definitely have some seating, some table setups so that you can have a nice relaxing afternoon out here in the balcony. Well, it's up to you. At least it's a private space, again. And since you are in a pretty low density subdivision, you're not going to be bothered too much. Okay, now here you have the hallway and we have three doors to explore. So let's go through this one first. So here you have bedroom number two. You have this much space, you still have high ceiling. You have a combination of pin lights, cove lights, and your main light here in the center. It's up to you if you want to keep that as is, or if you want to put a smaller chandelier, no problem. And then over here, you have access to your balcony facing the side of your property. And then this room has an ensuite, toilet and bath, as well as a walkthrough closet. But it just feels like one seamless room. The only thing that is separating both areas is the flooring. So obviously the wardrobe area still has wood and then the bathroom area is tiled. You have your sink, your toilet, and your enclosed shower space right here. So the bedroom floors are different from the hallway floors. Two different kinds of wood. Even the jam is different. I mean, it looks different, but it looks cohesive still. Okay, now let's check out this one. So this is bedroom number three. Ayan, no, kita na, iba yung kahoy. All right, so over here you have this much space. Again, your ceiling is mainly composed of a drop ceiling in the middle with some cove lighting, some pin lights, and then your main light here in the center. You again have access to your own balcony. You have a desk nook over here, which has a view of the field. And then your own suite, toilet and bath with generally the same layout. So you have your wardrobe over here, your sink, your toilet, and then your enclosed shower space. Can I just say though, that this wardrobe is super nice. You have the smoke glass, you have this side where you're hanging clothes, and then you have your shelves and drawers over on this side. And it just looks so neat. Love it. And finally, bedroom number four, AKA the master bedroom. So obviously you're gonna have a much bigger space. Your bed frame over here, which already comes with the built-in side tables. You have this lowered uh, drop ceiling over here, again with the cove lights, but this time it's made out of the same wood uh, material that they used on the ground floor. So that just kind of ties in the design together, right? And then you have an accent wall over here that perfectly frames your TV. Obviously, the house already comes with CCTV, and that's what we're that's what we're looking at right now. Your room, of course, has access to its own balcony. The balcony is very uniquely shaped to match the rest of the geometry of the home. And then, of course, it wouldn't be a master bedroom without the master ensuite, toilet and bath, as well as the walk-in closet. So oh, nice, right? So you have an island over here for your accessories, your watches, your bracelets or jewelry, your belts and what have you. So your smaller 
accessories go here. Lots of storage all around, as well as this U-shaped uh, storage. Why the Sheng His and Hers? Because it's generally a combination of hanging, uh, hanging rods, your drawers, your shelves, and what have you, and all of them have that smoke glass door. So even if it's closed, which means that all of your stuff are going to be kept dust-free, right? You don't have to open them to check out your things because you're just going to see it standing in the middle of the room. And then you have your vanity right here in the middle, which comes with the lit glass. Or when I say lit, because you can, you can even change the tone or the warmth of your light. You have some storage underneath, and then you're probably going to want to put a nice little stool over here so that you can fix yourself there. And then over here is the actual en suite toilet and bath with your his and her sinks, your shower space, enclosed shower space, enclosed toilet space, and your jacuzzi here in, this, in the corner. You still have high ceiling, you have down lights or pin lights, lots of windows. Those are fixed. These are awning windows, so you can open them up. And then you have one more clear store window up there for additional natural light streaming in to your home. And that's the reason why this toilet and bath is super bright. Apart from the fact that everything else is very lightly colored. Okay, so that's been it. It's now time for a recap. But before that, make sure you check out these very handsome B-rolls. So you have 311 square meters of lot area and 469 square meters of floor area split between three levels. So you have the ground floor, the second floor, and the basement. You have a two-vehicle car port, both of which will generally be covered, but since it does have really, really high ceiling, pag umulan, tas may angge, medyo mababasayan ko, chanong konti, but at least it's going to be protected from the sun and direct sunlight. You have beautiful design for the entire home from the outside to the interiors and even the basement which again as i mentioned earlier serves as a blank canvas that you can work on and then you have perimeter gardens or basically a garden garden space around the entire home you have a service area complete with your laundry area and of course your daily kitchen and lots and lots of open space with lots of storage for all of your things and that is going to help maintain this home looking nice and neat very minimalist very modern but again still has a lot of character and again this is in a very exclusive subdivision here in Quezon City so if you or anyone you know is interested in a house like this make sure you send this video to them or if you want to see it for yourself send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com invest in your future invest with us invest with Pre-Cello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. 
And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.